the first case between a joint venture of Messrs China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation which was a petitioner versus Gujarat Metro Rail Corporation Limited which was a respondent some brief facts the petitioner is a joint venture between CCECC and Tata Projects Limited according to the agreement between the petitioner and the respondent the petitioner was supposed to construct overhead metro corridor including a bridge over sabarmati river and seven stations for a cost of rupees 721 crores the petitioner was required to complete the works within 32 months that is before september 2019 During the work, the petitioner was affected repeatedly due to reasons which are beyond control. As a result of the delays, the petitioner could not utilize his resources and manpower at the optimum productivity level and incurred additional losses. Thus, the petitioner claimed for about rupees one hundred and forty crores towards this. According to the petitioner, the progress of work was affected due to various breaches from the respondent side, as. GFC drawings were not available in time frequent suspension of works delays in approvals design variations delay in payment in com- of completed works etc it also gave a break off of the claim 140 crore rupees as cost incurred over under utilization of resources due to expenses on labor equipments overheads additional costs etc according to the gcc arbitrator need to be appointed the petitioner appointed shri kanaiya lal prajapati as its arbitrator the respondent resisted this petition the petitioner should not have approached the court directly as per the contract conditions also according to the set terms in contract the panel of arbitrators to be selected would be from the already mentioned five those arbitrators are independent engineers having vast knowledge of arbitration the respondent insisted that the arbitrator should not be selected outside those chosen ones or else the petitioner was ruling out the contract terms so the decision was as under both the parties may have the liberty to appoint their respective arbitrators and those arbitrators would be pronouncing their decisions now quickly moving forward to the next case The second case is between a consortium of DCIL and AIPL who are the petitioners here versus TPTL which is the respondent. As per the agreement between the respondent and the petitioner the petitioner had to work on a 400 kV DC transmission line project the length of which was 212 km. It was from hydropower plant in Sikkim to Bihar. As per the contract the work had to be completed in 23 months from the date of award of the contract that is the contract had to be completed before October 2011 in May 2014 the respondent terminated the contract the petitioner questioned this and filed a petition seeking to restrain the respondent's decision whereas the respondent had already appointed a new contractor by then according to the petitioner the respondent did not make available the right of way to carry out the project activities and as per the contract it was to it was the respondent's responsibility of right of way due to this the project got delayed multiple times and thereby the petitioner incurred heavy losses and cash flow crunches because of idling of manpower and equipments the petitioner stated all this to the arbitrator explaining the delays from the respondent side and due to lack of involvement involvement in the project from the respondent side due to all this the petitioner further extended the project completion date to october 2014 the main submission of the petitioner was that it was wrong from the respondent side to break the contract abruptly according to the respondent the petitioner was not able to complete the project within stipulated time that is in october 2011 and also kept on extending the project duration the petitioner did not even complete about 50% work till late and the project needed to be commissioned by december 2014 that is within only to only 6 months due to all these delays the respondent awarded the remaining work of the contract to tata projects limited on 30th may 2014 according to the case presented by the pre- 
by the petitioner and the respondent, it was evident that under no circumstances the petitioner would be able to complete the remaining work till October 2014. The arbitrator found out that the petitioner was slow even in terms of its charge schedule and thus favoured the decision of the respondent in terminating the contract. However, it was found that the contract was abruptly terminated and thus asked the petitioner to put forward its claims. That's all.